the Darien Athletic Foundation proud to present high school girls soccer this afternoon on the DAF Media Network from the campus of Suffield High School. It's the Darien Blue Wave versus the Suffield Wildcats in the quarterfinals of the Class Double L State Tournament. Hi, everybody.
How you doing with that mic on? I, mic two is on. Oh, okay. Go fine. Good. How's your battery? I'm fine. I got about I'm at 75 percent. Okay, cool. <laughs> Imagine if we were on the other side. I know. And as it is, in certain corners, I have to fight with my with the sun coming over my shoulder in this monitor. I'll tell you what, these blanks are tremendous. Soldier, you have to join her quicker. here, Nora. Use your body. Good, Nora. Right now we are at the half. Darian up one nothing in this state quarterfinal matchup, thanks to a Katie Ramsey goal with about 8:30 left in the first half. Again, we apologize for the technical difficulties on the DAF Media Network. Darian up on Suffield, one to nothing at the half. We are now live here, about three minutes away from starting the second half of this uh, Class Double L state quarterfinal game. Suffield comes in the number one seed in the state playoffs. Darianne, the eight seed. Darianne coming off a couple of big wins in the state tournament to get to this point, trying to punch its ticket to the state semifinal. We are going to take a quick break, and we will be back live for second half action here on the DAF Media Network.
in. You take them, you t we plug that in? Yep. And you're on the mic? Yep. I said we did, we'll see this in its entirety. Yeah, the only issue, Bruce, just watch yourself. I pushed it up a little bit. We are live now on the DAF Media Network. The second half is underway between Darianne and Suffield in this high school girls soccer class double L state quarterfinal game. Darianne in the black with the blue shorts, Suffield in the white with the blue shorts. Suffield moving from right to left on your screen, Darianne moving from left to right. Again, the blue wave up one to nothing thanks to a first half goal by senior Katie Ramsey with 8.30 left in the first half. She put it in the back of the net. And again, as I mentioned at the half, you will be able to see this game in its entirety on our YouTube channel later this evening. Again, it's one nothing Darianne here on the campus of Suffield High School in the northern part of the state of Connecticut. Suffield undefeated coming into this game. They went 17-0 in the regular season. The number one seed in the class double L state tournament. Of course, Darianne got to this point in the state tournament with wins over FCAC rival Danbury in the opening round. They beat the Hatters 2 to nothing, then beat Shelton 2 to 1. Both of those games were played on the campus of Darianne High School at the Oval. Katie Ramsey and Honora Brown scored in that 2-1 win over Shelton, and again Ramsey has the Lone goal this afternoon in this one coming in the first half. This is second half action now between Darian and Suffield. You are watching second half action between Darianne and Suffield, class double L state quarterfinal game in high school girls soccer on a chilly afternoon here at Suffield High School. Of course, the Darianne field hockey team coming off a big win in the state quarterfinals last night on what was a downright frigid evening in Norwalk. The Blue Wave beating the Norwalk Bears 2-1 in overtime. Katie Elders with the overtime goal to win it for the Blue Wave. So head coach Mo Minicus and the Darianne field hockey team moving on to the state semifinals. But we are live here on the DAF Media Network from Suffield High School. Darianne taking on the Suffield Wildcats 
in this state quarterfinal matchup. Suffield on the attack, the cross, and a beautiful cross by Alyssa Bergamini. She is one of the top players on this Suffield team. She will play at Georgia College, a top Division II school. Suffield coached by Dave Sullivan in his 20th season. And he has built quite a program with a storied tradition. We want to thank those of you who are watching and have tuned in to our live stream here from Suffield High School for this Class Double L state quarterfinal game between Darianne and Suffield. Again, we apologize for our technical difficulties in the first half. We weren't able to live stream in the first half. We did record our first half, and you will be able to see this game in its entirety later this evening on the Darianne Athletic Foundation's YouTube channel. A windy, chilly day here on the campus of Suffield High School as the sun is starting to set. Again, Darianne in the black jerseys with the blue shorts and the blue socks. Suffield in the white jerseys with the blue shorts. And now Suffield with a corner kick here. So their first set piece of the second half. Into the box. And that is cleared out by the Darianne defense. There's Suffield again pushing the pace, the cross. And a chip shot there by Mary Rusnak that goes over the crossbar. So the goalie kick here by Chrissy Fiore. Of course, Fiore, one of the top-ranked goalies in the state of Connecticut. One of the captains of this Darien team headed to the Naval Academy next year. Just a terrific athlete, multi-sport athlete, a tremendous lacrosse player, obviously, in the spring. Again, it's one nothing, Darianne. First half goal by Katie Ramsey. And here's Ellen Harnish on the run on the far side of the field. Nice defensive effort there by Sidney Lapone of Suffield. She plans on playing Division II or Division I college soccer. Also an ice hockey player here at Suffield. Damian Andrew joining you this afternoon for this one. Bruce Ferguson on camera one 
And again, we apologize for the techni technical difficulties in the first half. Here's Mackenzie Sullivan on the run, number 14 for Suffield, into the far corner. So we're a little over 10 minutes into this second half of this Class Double L State quarterfinal game between Darianne and Suffield. Again, the blue wave up, as you can see on your screen, one to nothing. Katie Ramsey scoring with about 8.30 left in the first half. We are now live on this DAF media network. We apologize for our technical difficulties. In the first half, again, you'll be able to see this game in its entirety later this evening on our YouTube channel. The winner of this game will get the winner of the Staples Trumbull match next week. So it could be an FCAC semifinal, at least on one side of the bracket, if Darianne can get, hold on and get past Suffield this afternoon. Darianne came into this state tournament as the eighth seed, the highest seed ever under sixth year head coach Lee Parsons. Ilana Dolan with a shot into the box. And here's a corner opportunity for the Blue Wave. And it'll be taken by Ellen Harnish. Ellen Harnish has had a terrific se season, the junior. She'll be back next year for head coach Parsons. She serves it up into the box. And a foul there on Darianne and Suffield takes over. I 
I mentioned earlier in the second half here, Darianne had wins over Danbury and Shelton to get here. Of course, the Blue Wave lost in the first round of the FCAC tournament this year to Ridgefield, disappointing 1-0 loss at Tiger Hollow in Ridgefield. When I spoke to head coach Lee Parsons before the state tournament began, he said his team uh, really looking forward to making up for what happened in the FCAC tournament, and they certainly have as they are now in the state quarterfinals with a 1-0 lead over Suffield here this afternoon at Suffield High School. Suffield, the top seed, coached by David Sullivan in his 20th season as the Wildcats head coach. And as I mentioned, uh, Coach Sullivan has built a dynasty here at Suffield. Lauren Solger with a nice clear there, number 11. Suffield won the 2010 Class M state title. They were co-champs in 2009. So back to back there. Suffield also won back-to-back -back state titles in 05 and 06. So it's a storied program here. And Coach Sullivan told me before this game that the youth players in the area dream about becoming a starter for the varsity program here at Suffield High. So both teams trying to settle right now and control the ball. Alyssa Bergamini on the far side of the field, the throw in. Mackenzie Sullivan in the corner here. Mackenzie Sullivan, the coach's daughter. And this second half has been played mostly on the Darianne half of the field as Suffield's offense looks to put the ball in the back of the net. Nice defensive effort by Lauren Solger, number 11, the junior, now on the run on the near side of the field here. Ava Bocaselli is the Suffield goalie, just a freshman. So Coach Sullivan will have her for the next few years in goal for the Wildcats. Action at midfield. Darianne trying to punch its ticket to the state final four with a win this afternoon. There's Katie Ramsey. So the free kick here for Suffield, taken by Sidley Lapone. As I mentioned earlier, Lapone also a hockey player here at Suffield High School. Coach Sullivan told me before this game a number of his players are multi-sport athletes. Just like the Darien team has a number of players who play multiple sports.
That ball rolls out of bounds. It'll be thrown in by Alexis Bergamini. The Bergamini sisters, Alyssa and Alexis. Two of the top players on this Suffield team. And that shot is wide of the far post by Sophie Lapone. Suffield has had a few opportunities this afternoon, have not been able to capitalize. Entertaining, well-played game between these two class double L teams. So another foul on Darianne and Suffield will have a free kick here. We are under 20 minutes left in this game. Darianne up 1-0. Class double L state quarterfinals. Damian Andrew joining you this afternoon. Thanks for joining us on this live stream. Again, we apologize for our technical difficulties in the first half. You will be able to watch this game in its entirety later this evening on the Darianne Athletic Foundation's YouTube channel. Natalie Bravo on the far side of the field to throw it in for the Blue Wave. And the Suffield defense clears it out. Nora Brown in the near corner. Alexis Bergamini throws it in. The senior midfielder, one of the captains here for Suffield, the cross into the box for the Wildcats and a great save by Chrissy Fiore. And so the shot by Alyssa Bergamini and a stop by Chrissy Fiore, who has had quite a senior season in goal for the Blue Wave. There's Katie Ramsey fighting for the ball near midfield. Again, Darianne in the black, moving from left to right. Suffield in the white. Talked about how impressive Darianne's keeper, Chrissy Fiore, has been this season. She had six saves the last time out in that 2-1 win over Shelton. 
in the second round of the state tournament. Bravo throws it in near side of the field. Here's Ramsey. The cross out of bounds, rolls across the end line. So about 15.40 left in this game. Darianne with the one nothing lead. Blue Wave trying to tack on another goal.
This is Damian Andrew of the DAF Media Network. The Darianne Blue Wave Varsity Girls Soccer Team beats Suffield in the state quarterfinals of the Class Double L State Tournament. one nothing. They are moving on to the state final four, the state semifinals. Again, we apologize for our technical difficulties this afternoon here from Suffield High School, but you will be able to see this game in its entirety later this evening on our YouTube channel. Again, the Darien Blue Wave beats Suffield one to nothing. Katie Ramsey with a first half goal with about 8.30 left in the first half was all the Blue Wave needed to get it done this afternoon as they are moving on now to the state semifinals of the Class Double L Tournament. For Bruce Ferguson, I am Damian Andrew. Thanks for joining us. This has been a production of the Darianne Athletic Foundation.